Hey Craft Gin Clubbers, we're here to present to you the July Craft Gin Club Gin of the Month. It is Chemist Spirits American Gin made in Asheville, North Carolina. It is the first American gin that has been chosen by the Craft Gin Club. Uh, I am Debbie Word, founder and owner of Chemist Spirits. I'm Danielle Donaldson. I'm Debbie's daughter and the chemist of Chemist Spirits. We're currently standing in our botanical garden outside of our uh, distillery here behind us. So now we're going to take you into the tasting room and tell you how this all got started. We actually got started on that little five gallon copper still right there that my mom got for Christmas one year as a gift. Yes, after begging for a still for Christmas um, because um, we spend a lot of time up in the mountains where moonshining actually originated and um, we had quite a bit of the traditional real moonshine uh, over the years and just could not stand it. So I decided I needed to figure out how to make it myself um, and make it better. And so I got my copper pot still and went to work in my kitchen in my log cabin. And uh, then James, uh, my son-in-law, Danielle's husband, uh, and Danielle and I were distilling one day and um, talking about how great it was, so the, the, the rum that we had actually coming off the still that day. Um, and started talking about how much fun it would be to open a distillery. Little <laughs> which, did we know how much work that was going to become. Yes, um, but uh, that was actually the beginning of it around that kitchen table. Uh, it was the, the decision to jump into a family business yeah. and buy a piece of property in Asheville because Asheville is actually Beer City, USA. Uh, incredible uh, tradition of breweries, craft breweries in this area. We are surrounded by very, very talented brewers, um, but there were at that point no distilleries in the area. So uh, yeah, we bought a piece of property in the middle of all the breweries and opened a distillery. And we decided to call ourselves chemist um, for a couple of reasons. I'm actually a pharmacist, a practicing pharmacist, and um, over there, uh, and early on in, in kind of the prohibition era, pharmacists were called chemists. And we loved that pre-prohibition era um, style, as well as um, the apothecary theme of um, when we were in prohibition, pharmacies were really the only place that you could legally get alcohol. Um, people would write prescriptions for alcohol for basically anything. Whiskey was medicine. Exactly. For everything that, Ill, that, that was wrong with you. You just it had a prescription for whiskey and it's the only way you could get it. So we played off of that theme. Um, it actually goes to our bottle as well. So our bottle that was designed by my husband, James, um, is actually an amber bottle because that is a nod to um, medicine bottles. The reason behind the decision to start with gin um, really, again, goes back to the prohibition era and the fact that um, a lot of botanicals that are in gin, including juniper, are actually um, medicinal and were used for medicinal purposes back then. So uh, we decided to play off of that as well. Um, and we also like gin, like to drink <laughs> gin, and decided that that was probably a great place to start. So now we're here in our distillery. Um, this is where the magic happens. So we use um, these copper Olympic stills that were hand hammered in Portugal. Um, and we put those over direct fire because we, we really wanted to use the old world style um, because we really, cared about the flavor profile that you get from using the copper with the direct fire, the direct heat, so. And we use vapor infusion for our botanicals rather than boiling the botanicals in the pot, um, which gives you a softer flavor. We downplay the juniper. Um, it is an American style, which is a Western style of gin. Um, and it was designed with bartenders um, to be as customer friendly as possible and very easy to use in any kind of cocktail. Uh, we vapor infuse through our gin basket, which is in the center of the line arm here, and uh, the vapor goes through the basket and comes down into these condensers and turns into gin. So our gin, we use five different types of citrus. We use two different types of orange, grapefruit, tangerine, and lemon. So what that does is it doesn't give you just one citrus flavor, it gives you a very balanced flavor of citrus. And um, bartenders love this because it, it plays very well in a, a variety of cocktails because there is no one overpowering 
flavor. So now we're going to take you into Antidote, our cocktail lounge, uh, so we can talk about some of our favorite cocktails and the way we like to enjoy the American gin. And our favorite way to enjoy um, our American gin this summer is a beautifully crafted cocktail that was designed by the Craft Gin Club for us. It is a peach gin iced tea and super refreshing. Cheers! Uh, my name is Adam. I run the tasting room over here at uh, Chemist Distillery. Um, my favorite American gin cocktail is definitely the Gimlet, and it is amazing uh, when I get it next door right after a long work day. Hi, I'm Megan. I'm the beverage director here at Antidote. My favorite American gin cocktail is the Aviation, and I love enjoying it on a nice warm summer day. Hi everyone, Jack here with Chemist Spirits. I'm Jack of all trades. My favorite way to enjoy Chemist American Gems in a classic Negroni uh, when I'm playing poker with the buds. Hello, I'm McKay. I'm a bar back here at Antidote. Um, my favorite cocktail with the American Gin is a navigation, and I love to enjoy it on my front porch on the weekends on my days off. <laughs> Thank you again for having us. And uh, remember, Chemist Spirits is the cure for the common cocktail. <laughs>